Today we are going to look at our plates from two days ago, spread Streptomyces venezuelae on sporulation plates, and streak to single colony for later use. Here are our dilutions of sample D after one day of growth at 30 degrees, and now after two days of growth. Colonies are only just starting to appear on the undiluted sample with nalodixic acid, and the 10 to the minus 1 dilution, both with and without nalodixic acid. The number of colonies seems similar, both with and without nalodixic acid, but the colonies are noticeably larger without nalodixic acid. The colonies growing at this stage, after only two days incubation at 30 degrees, are probably not streptomyces, but are more likely faster growing bacterial species such as bacilli. Results with sample H are very similar, with very little growth after one day of incubation, but significant growth at the higher concentrations after two days of incubation. Here are close-up views of the 10 to the minus 1 dilution on nalodixic acid and without nalodixic acid. After watching this video, have a look at the rest of the plates on Moodle. You should also take a look at the streaked plates for M. luteus and E. coli. Note how M. luteus grows more slowly than E. coli and forms yellow colonies. Next, we will spread Streptomyces venezuelae on MYM media to sporulate, and we will streak it out to single colony on nutrient agar. Here we have two MYM plates with cyclohexamide to prevent fungal growth, and spore stocks of two strains of Streptomyces venezuelae, wild type and M1582, a chloramphenicol overproducing strain. We will pipette 100 microliters of spores onto each plate. Wild type onto one plate. and M1582 onto the other. spread the spores evenly over the plates using a fresh spreader for each plate. Finally, we will streak out Streptomyces venezuela strains on nutrient agar plates. We could dip the loop directly into our spore stock, but unfortunately it doesn't fit into the bottom of the Eppendorf tube. Instead, we will pipette 5 microliters of spores directly onto the plate.
This 5 microliter spot can then be streaked out with our first loop. Rotate the plate and do the second set of streaks, crossing the first streaks. Finally, fill in the rest of the plate using the third sterile loop. Streptomyces Venezuela M1582 the quorumphenical overproducer is streaked out in the same way. We have now spread both strains of Streptomyces venezuelae on MYM plates to sporulate and streaked both strains on nutrient agar plates to form single colonies. All plates will be incubated at 30 degrees. The MYM plates will be incubated for five days to allow the Streptomyces to sporulate. The nutrient agar plates require only two days of incubation to form single colonies. Next week we will pick Streptomyces from our soil plates and check for antibiotic production by Streptomyces venezuelae.